Clip Studio Paint is actually pretty intuitive when it comes to word balloons, so let's go and have a look at the options. So to get to your word balloon panel, you can press T on the keyboard twice, and this panel here will come up. Alternatively, you can just click on the word balloon icon there. So as you can see, the first one is the rounded balloon. The second one is the ellipse balloon. Third one is the curve balloon, where you create a custom shape by going point to point. And the fourth one is the balloon pen, where you can create perfect circles just like that. Perfect. Now, if we go back to the rounded balloon, your balloon may not look like that. The reason mine does is because if you go into this panel here, you can see the roundness of corner. I've got that all the way up to 100 because I like that shape. But I don't know what the default is, but chances are your rounded balloon will look more like a square. So if you want it to round off, you just increase the roundness and boom. Another thing you can do with the rounded balloon is choose the different shapes that it can do. So you can just do an ellipse or you can do like a, a polygon shape as well. With our word balloon here, we can add a tail. Now the balloon tail, which is below the balloon pen, the default setting is straight line. So if you just click and drag and release, then it will do a straight line balloon tail just like that. And you can change the width of the tail as well. So you can make it fat or thin or however you want. But if you come above width of tail, then you'll see that we've got this how to bend setting, but you can click that and select polyline, which is the next one down. And what that does is it allows you to go point to point. So you can create different points for your balloon tail. And then once you're finished, let's say I want it to end there, you can press and hold control on the keyboard and click and it'll close it out. And likewise, the setting below polyline, which is spline, is exactly the same. It's a point to point, but for each point, it will bend the path instead. So again, if I want it to end there, just hold control and click and it will end. And the final one, the thought balloon, again, the same settings as the normal balloon tail, except this one is just like how you would expect the thought balloon to be. Now, personally, I don't think I've ever used this, but you might want to. If we've got our word balloon there, we want to add text. So if you hit T on your keyboard, you will switch to the text tab. If you press it again, you go back to balloons and you can just keep pressing to switch back and forth. Alternatively, you can just click on this A to get straight there. Chances are, if you're fairly new to Clip Studio, you probably just got one text thing there. You can add more by do adding the sub tool. I'd recommend you renaming them. I don't because I'm an idiot, but if you want different sizes and different fonts, then that's what that's used for. So for here, I've got a 24 size uh, MV Bowley font, which I quite like. If you adjust the font or the size or anything like this, just in this screen, then it will keep it that way forever. It, well, until you change it again. But if you just type some gibberish in there, and then let's say you wanted to type again, it will go back to that original font. So we've got our balloon. Let's just put in some text. So we've got our text and we've got our balloon, but they don't really marry up. There's quite a lot of space around here. So there's two ways that we can do this. First way, you can go to operation and then you can change the size of the word balloon and the font will remain the same size. However, I don't do that. I tend to stay in this window, this text window or the word balloon window, doesn't matter. And if you hold control down, you can select the word balloon and you can do it that way. So you can stay within this panel and you can still move it in the same way. The other benefit is that if you hold control and just select the text, then you can change the text size as well and you can move the text around, which is quite handy. Further to that, you can take these red points here and you can change the shape of the word balloon if you wanted. I don't know why you would want to, but maybe you do. And this also works if you've got a balloon tail as well. So for example, if you were to click here, I can change the width of this balloon tail if I want to. And you can change where it starts, you can change where it finishes, all that sort of stuff. Just remember, just hold control while you do it and it's a lot easier to do. Now it's pretty much it for word balloons, at least that's all I tend to use them for anyway. So yeah, it's really hard to talk and do stuff at the same time. I can't multitask. So yeah, I hope it helped. If it did, please give me a like and a subscribe and all that YouTube stuff. I've been Brinkley, have fun drawing and I'll see you next week.